Have you recently seen or heard of worship flags for the first time and wondering where you'd use them, especially if they aren't common in your church or congregation? If that's your question, keep watching because today I answer the question, where to use worship flags if you can't use them in church? Hi, I'm Andrea York, the founder and designer at Catch the Fire Worship Flags, helping creative worshipers like you to elevate their praise to the next level with worship flags since 2011. Today, I answer the most frequently asked question from creative worshipers who have seen worship flags, probably online, maybe in person, and you're intrigued by the uniqueness of this form of worship, but ultimately you hold back from purchasing or trying them because you don't know where you'll be able to use worship flags especially if you can't use them at church. I understand. I experienced the same dilemma as did countless fire catchers in our group. First, don't let that stop you from purchasing worship flags for yourself. If Holy Spirit is stirring something in your spirit, the enemy hates every form of worship. And if he can get you to not worship by some perceived problem, then he wins and your worship experience is diminished. Second, learn what you can about worship flags so that you understand what your spirit is stirring in you. We have several resources available for you. Sign up to get a free PDF download to understand the prophetic meanings of color or visit our website for more training videos. Next, seek to understand why worship flags aren't used in your church. Don't assume you know what your pastor or worship leader will say. Schedule a meeting and have a conversation. It always starts with a conversation, right? Start your conversation with something like this. Are you familiar with a creative worship style using worship flags? What are your thoughts about them? I know it's new to our church, so it might not be understood right away, but I've been learning what the Bible has to say about worship flags, and I feel God stirring something in my spirit to use them. Would it be okay if I used them at the back in an area where they wouldn't disturb other worshipers? I'd be happy to share what I've learned with you because I know that if I use them at the back, others will have questions, and I'd like to help them to understand how worship flags can be incorporated into corporate worship. Then allow the conversation to unfold. It's really about having a conversation to understand. Your pastor is pastoring not just you, but an entire congregation. And so the pastor actually has to decide how to navigate new things. Uh, and so allow freedom and time to do that. It might not even happen right away. They might not even have a problem with, with it, but it's so new. So not sure how to incorporate something that is brand new, just like you're kind of getting into it and, and used to using worship flags or understanding what they're about. You have to allow the time and the space for someone who's in leadership over you and for a greater number of people. Now, if your pastor or worship leader isn't comfortable to include worship flags during corporate worship, don't despair. You can still benefit from using worship flags during a personal worship times. Worship isn't just for Sunday morning, and if you feel God is stirring to you to use worship flags, then perhaps he wants to bring you into a deeper relationship with him all on your own. The pastor may not want to cause distractions during corporate worship, but perhaps there might be another time during the week when you can use some of the space in the church. That's how I started. When I first started using worship flags, they were seen as a distraction and the pastor didn't want to have to explain to others, but he had no problem letting me use the sanctuary when it wasn't being used during the week. I worshiped like that for about six months. At first it felt strange, but I knew that Holy Spirit was teaching me a new thing. So I kept pressing in, not wanting to miss out on a single blessing from the Father's hand. You know, another place that you can worship is outdoors. Worship in your yard if you have one, or even worship in a public park. Will people have questions? Probably, but be prepared to answer. Um, but you have as much access to public parks as someone who is like, say, learning to use a slack line or flower sticks or hoop dance. I've seen all of those things going on in the parks around me. Put on worship music and use headphones if you don't want to disturb the peace and then try it out. Every single fire catcher I've heard from has testified to growing more in their relationship and intimacy with Jesus. Romans 12, 1 to 2 says to offer your body as a living sacrifice and doing so will help you transform your mind so that you'll know the will of God. 
It doesn't say offer your body as a living sacrifice only during Sunday morning worship. So don't let the enemy limit your worship. Pick up your worship flags and worship God anywhere. If you want more resources such as discounts to purchase worship flags, videos to teach you some movements to learn as you discover this creative form of worship, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our, our website, catchthefireworshipflags.com. Until then, I'm Andrea York, helping you to elevate your praise with worship flags. Thank you.